If you're holding your workbook vertically, you will see a plus button at the top center of your screen. When you tap on that plus button, tap on the photo icon on the very far right of the top toolbar, then tap the word drawing to add the drawing. If you are using your iPad horizontally, you will see a couple of different buttons at the top. Tap on the one that looks like a picture, then tap the word drawing to get into drawing mode. Once you're in drawing mode, you will see the tools come up at the bottom of the screen. You can now draw anywhere you would like on your screen. The first tool I'd like to show you is the pen tool. If you tap on the tool, you can select the size that you would like to use. You can also set the transparency by tapping on the tool and sliding the slider. One of my favorite tools is the paint tube. With this tool, you can quickly and easily fill big spaces. Let's give it a try. If I tap down with my finger and drag it around in a circle, you will see that it is automatically filled in with the color. Now let's try the other way to use the fill tool. First, I will undo my circle by tapping on the back arrow in the drawing toolbar at the bottom of my screen. Using the pen tool, I will now draw a circle. After my circle is drawn, I switch to the fill tube one more time, and with one tap inside of my circle, it's automatically filled with color. This is a great way to color in your project very quickly and carefully. Resizing or even duplicating part of your drawing is easy using the selection tool. The selection tool is the special pencil that looks like it has gray stripes on the tip. When you tap on it, you can draw a circle around the object that you want to select and then tap on the word that you need to use. In this case, I'll try resize. That way I can make my circle smaller. After I've made it smaller, I could even duplicate it. You can see how I can quickly make many copies of my circle by duplicating it, selecting it, and duplicating it over and over again. You can change the color of any tool using the little circle colors on the right hand side or select a new color by tapping the one that looks like a color wheel. This will give you many more options of colors you could try. If you find a favorite new color, you can even tap the plus button in the bottom right corner of the box so that it can be added to your favorites along the bottom rows. When you're completely finished, tap the done button in the upper left corner. If you need to make a change to your drawing after hitting done, just simply tap on your drawing and tap the edit drawing button. You can add new things or even change the things you already drew. The possibilities are endless.